26, 27, 51, and 80 to enable President Hakainde Hichilema's address of the warehouse today. Tayali praises steadfast Tazara workers. Transport and Logistics Minister Frank Tayali has commended Tanzania and Zambia Railway Authority, Tazara, workers for remaining steadfast in spite of challenges that the company is going through. Mr. Tayali says government is aware about their welfare and is working to address their plight. And Tazara Regional Manager Kambani Ndobu added that Tazara is not an institution that can be done away with because of its vital importance to the nation and to the region as a whole. No medicine stolen at Zamsa Warehouse. Health Minister Silva Masebo says no medicines were stolen during the theft at a warehouse where the Zambia Medicines and Medical Supplies Agency, ZAMSA, had stored its equipment. Ms. Masebo had clarified that various dental equipment, thermo thermography, CT scanner accessories are what were stolen from a classified government warehouse. She says that no arrests have been made and that the matter is still under investigation. Proposed Zesco tariffs won't affect how income won't affect low income earners, says Chikwanda. Energy expert Johnston Chikwanda says the proposed adjustment of electricity tariffs by Zesco have given low income earners of society reduced rates of electricity. Dr. Chikwanda said that there is a lot of misinformation on the proposed tariff adjustment, as many people only focus on upward adjustments. He says Zesco has categorized domestic customers in four different categories and each has its own respective tariffs. And now for international news. It has been a year now since Russia declared war on Ukraine. A total of 42,295 deaths have been recorded in a war that has left over 56,000 people injured and 40 million people displaced. European leaders have vowed to continue their military support to Ukraine. And now to North Korea. North Korea, where Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un has banned the use of his daughter's name in that country. Kim's 10-year-old daughter is named Kim Jong-A, and it will now be a punish punishable offense to use that name in North Korea. The ban also means those who answer to that name must change their name immediately. Experts believe that Kim Jong-A is being groomed to succeed her father on the throne. In November, she was spotted at the missile launch with her father. And now in sports. Manchester United beat Barcelona at Old Trafford by two goals to one in, an, in a thrilling display by sensational Fred and masterclass himself, uh, Anthony. The match was held at Old Trafford and uh, the, the Red Devils were seen to come back from a one goal lead to come and triumph over the Spaniards by two goals to one. This means that Manchester United have qualified to the round of 16 of the Europa League and Barcelona have been eliminated. Thank you for tuning in to CKK TV. My name is Mwemba Piri. Good day.